How long does it take for acrylic paint to dry? We're going to answer this question and we can answer many more if you subscribe by pushing the button just below. So to answer the question, how long does it take acrylic paint to dry? First, we need to know how acrylic paint dries. Acrylic paint is made up on a microscopic level of a whole lot of little beads and ball, balls of acrylic and pigment, all swimming around in water. Once the paint is painted out or, or laid down, the water starts to evaporate off the top, leaving behind the paint film. Now, if you think about this on a, on a microscopic level, what's actually happening is those beads of acrylic and pigment are pushing together where the water is coming from between them. So especially across the top, forming a skin over the paint. If ever you've dropped a big blob of paint somewhere and haven't noticed it until it's been dry for some time, you'll know that it, it forms that skin, but the paint underneath may well still be uh, very flexible and, and still actually quite wet. So the skin forms because the beads of acrylic have what's known as a coalescent agent around them. And that's a chemical that allows them, once they're pushed together, the waters come from between them, and they're, they're pushed together because of the pressure of the air, they will push together and they will chemically bond so that you have a thin film of acrylic, which is basically plastic, impregnated with the pigment. And that's what we're aiming for, a nice solid film, which will be flexible because it's acrylic, but still very durable and very tough. Now to get to that point, we have to make sure that all the water has evaporated out. As the water evaporates out, the little beads are pushed down onto each other, they're pushed together, they sort of deform to each other's shape, and as I mentioned, they coalesce or they join together. And we have a film of paint. Terrific. So back to our initial question, how long is that going to take? Well, how long does it take for water to evaporate? Think of it that way. On a cold, humid, wet day, a puddle of water can remain there for days. It, it just doesn't want to evaporate because there's enough water in the air and there's not the temperature to, uh, to evaporate the water and it just stays there. Paint is much the same. So temperature, um, will really dictate whether in fact the paint will dry at all. So the, the, the perfect or best practice, I guess, temperatures for drying of acrylic paint is, is above about 15 degrees Celsius up to about 25 degrees Celsius. Now the paint will dry under 15, but it will take considerably longer and under about five to eight degrees Celsius, it will actually not cure. So there's a thing we as chemists call the minimum film forming temperature. And that means when, when the, the actual coalescing of the paint won't take place, it needs two forms of energy for that coalescing to hap happen or that curing to happen and that's the pressure from the air which is cool as long as you're not painting on the moon shouldn't be a problem but also um, the temperature so it's got to be above generally roughly about eight degrees celsius below that the water will still evaporate out and the paint will appear dry but it won't have cured or coalesced Above about 25 degrees Celsius, you'll find that the water is starting to evaporate out a little bit too rapidly, forming the skin on the top and, and leaving less and less little um, crevices or capillary holes for the water from underneath to come out. And so whilst it will form a skin, it may take considerably longer to actually dry all the way through. And of course, the same thing goes for humidity. If it's really dry, no humidity at all, that's a little bit like heating the piece up, uh, uh, heating the, the, the film up and, and having the water evaporating off very quickly. 
Conversely, if it's really humid, you'll find that uh, the paint will tend to take a lot longer to dry because the water just doesn't want to evaporate out into the air because the air already has a lot of water in it. And of course, aside from humidity and temperature, you have the film thickness. If you paint on a film that is, and this goes for water-based varnishes as well as for paint, that is twice as thick as another film, you know, so we, we can say this thick and this thick, uh, and it takes an hour for the water to get out from the bottom of this thickness of film, it takes an hour to get from there and evaporate out, the film that's twice as thick won't just take two hours, but the whole time that the water's trying to get from the bottom, the top is closing off. A lot of these little capillary holes that the water gets out of are starting to push together and close off and reduce the number of places the water can get out. And so it might take, instead of two hours, it might take 24 hours to get out just twice that distance. So there's no real one answer on how long will it take for acrylic paint to dry. As you've seen, temperature, humidity and the thickness of the film all are contributing factors to just how long the paint will take to dry. So see, watching paint dry wasn't as boring as you thought it might be. Don't forget to subscribe.